Welcome back to Collecting Cars, where you join me in this rather nondescript location in the south of England that I've been told to report to where I'll receive further instruction. Thank you, Ben. Right. Today is Halloween. You've been invited to London to the Collecting Cars Halloween party. There'll be a pumpkin carving competition, but you must bring the pumpkins and the carver. Your transport has been provided and should be arriving now. Yeah, okay, I see what they I see what you've done there. Carver, Carver One, my old friend. Now we did a video of the Carver One some time ago, and if you want to find out more about the Carver as a whole, then click the link up here. But I'm thrilled to see this car again and can't wait to get back out in it. This one is even in the perfect colour for today. This look blaze orange is perfect for, for Halloween. The tilting is really kind of disconcerting. It feels like you're in some kind of arcade game or a fighter jet or something like that. Not that I've ever been in a fighter jet, but um, yeah, fingers crossed. I remember how it all works. Right, let's get out on the road. Where the hell am I going to find pumpkins? Hey Siri, where can I buy pumpkins? One option I found is pumpkin in Leatherhead, a little more than two miles to your west. Do you want that one? No, that's a cafe, Siri. We're going to need a supermarket or a farm shop, I think. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Back in the Carver One, my old pal. Oh, now I just have to remember how to do this. It takes a little bit of getting used to and the confidence to get used to that turning, particularly on a slightly damp day. So you might think that I'd be disappointed that I'm not out in some kind of supercar, but to me, this is a supercar because you grin ear to ear every mile that you do. It's quite an uncanny experience at first, but it's such a fun car to drive. If you've got this teeny cockpit, there's a door just on one side, so you feel like you're in a fighter jet or something. And then, of course, you've got this constant tilting movement. Now, once you get used to that, you can really sort of have, have fun with it and quite literally carve around the corners. I have to remember how to do this. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Yes, as I say, when you start off, no finesse, but by the end of the day, you'll be right at home and sort of banking round corners like your Tom Cruise and Top Gun. Now, if you're not familiar with the Carver One, we previously did a video explaining all about this car, and that explains how the car works, its history and whatnot, but the basics on the inside. Normal steering wheel, instrument cluster, all as you'd expect from a normal car in front of you. Then you have a five-speed manual gearbox down to your right-hand side and three pedals beneath you. So operationally exactly the same as a normal car, but you have this tilting mechanism so you've got a fixed point, like a trike, almost. So the two wheels behind you, that part of the car stays flat at all times, and it's the front that pivots. And I see what the Collecting Cars team have done here, because I've got a bright orange and black Carver One. It's Halloween. They've sent me off to go and fetch some pumpkins to bring to the office. Genius. And the thing about that is, is that the Carver doesn't have a boot to speak of as such. There's a little storage cubby at the back of the car. And then behind you, there's the passenger seat. So yeah, it has some kind of practicality if you don't have a passenger. But if you do, there's not really much space to put anything. Certainly not a load of pumpkins for a carving competition. 
pumpkin carving carver. Yeah, nice one. See what you've done there. When you drive the carver, you have to be gentle with the hands. If you want to get it to tilt, you don't need to have any kind of heavy inputs, just very lightly, and then you get that lovely swaying. Go and find some pumpkins. Right, Ben, how many should we get? Bad boy. Exciting. I reckon we need at least four. Um, probably, probably on. More than. I can carry. The question is, do they fit neatly in the back of the carver? Ugh. Wheel this round. Now, the thing is, there is a little boot at the back here, but it's only about that big. So that means those need to go behind the driver's seat. Let's find my keys. Okay, so driver's seat goes forward like that, and then you very carefully load in my pumpkins on top of my collecting cars jacket, I suppose. Well, two. that one going to go? Three. Oh look, I can get one behind there, look. Oh, this little fella, is he going to fit? I hope they're going to appreciate all this. Bags of room. Pop the chair back. Package is secure. Hopefully they'll stay there though, that's the thing. Right, they're all in there. Actually, I probably could have got a few more. They're nice and snug. Now, I'm gonna get these to London and uh, do some pumpkin carving, I guess. Oh wait, hang on a second. Oh bloody hell, not another one. Yep. Right. Well done getting the pumpkins. You're almost ready to join us, except no Halloween party is complete without fancy dress. Fear not, we've got you cut. Oh, God. Go. Got you covered, yeah, bet you have. What have we got in here? Oh, you've got to be joking. I'm not going to let this spoil my day. I look like something out of a bloody Kinder Egg. Could have got me something like Wolverine or I don't know. If they wanted to go on the Carver theme. It'd have to be a bloody pumpkin, did it? Could have been Freddy Krueger with the knives to do the carving. As I say, Wolverine. No, a pumpkin. To be fair, it's not the worst costume in the world, is it? And if there's free beer, I am there. I tell you, the trouble is with all this glass, whilst it's great to look out of, 
you haven't got your sunglasses with you, there's no visor. There's a little blue strip there, which does help, but um, it is like sort of squinting in a greenhouse, really. Another cool thing I just noticed is that the car's so narrow that you can actually rest both your elbows on either side of the window frames. What I don't know that I'd quite like to know is whether, as this is classed as a trike, whether you can drive it in a bus lane or not, because I think there might be some kind of weight restriction for trikes. And I think that's around 400 kg. This is around 630, 650 kg, something like that. And so I think this might be a little bit too heavy to be able to travel in the bus lane. But otherwise, that would have been another awesome life hack to be able to drive this down the bus lanes in London. I actually don't feel too self-conscious in this outfit because the car gets so many looks anyway with its bright orange paintwork and tilting mechanism. Nobody really cares a jot what the bloke driving it is wearing. And quite frankly, they probably expect somebody who drives this sort of car to be eccentric anyway. I'm surprised that there aren't more of these out on the road still. I think Carver are now making an electric version of this and perhaps, perhaps we will see more of them because they are one of these things that you look at and you think, well, that's quite an odd car, trike, come bike type thing, can't quite place it. But until you get in one and try one, can't really appreciate how much fun and how everyday usable they really are. Certainly makes sitting in this traffic a bit more fun, mucking about doing this. Right. We're gonna be on time for this party, thank goodness. We've got the pumpkins in the back. I am tired of this traffic, but not tired of the carver. It's been excellent on this journey. I'm about ready for a beer, I can tell you. Right, here, no time to lose. Handbrake on. Right, let's get these pumpkins out. Oh God, hat's falling off. Oh, sod it, don't worry about that one. Right, one, two, uh, hang on a minute. I've got this. Oh, I should have got a carrier bag. Hang on. No, this isn't gonna. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whew. Oh, I have earned that beer today. That is for sure. I'll tell you what, this is a, a bit of a workout. How much do you think each of these weigh, Ben? They're heavier than they look. Right, collecting cars. Here we go. All right. Oh, for God's sake. I don't believe it. Nice outfit, pal. 